Let's see, we got that going. Triple E Elvis 777 clocking in. Boys and girls, ladies and freaking gentlemen, here for the people. Even if the people don't need me, I got Fernando here with me. What's up, dude? There it is. Back at it again. Back at it again with the white vans, Dan, Daniel. Uh, I was talking to him about my Christmas, okay? So I had Paul this year. For anybody that actually knows, Paul from the park. I had Paul go from the park. Go watch the video. Go watch the video. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Go, just go waste go 30 minutes of your life with that one. It was pretty funny. No, but uh, so I got him a bracelet, a necklace, and then some, some rings. And uh -huh. the reason why I got him that is because one day we went to flea market when he had his accident. Uh, you know, we talked about that. Yeah, yeah. And uh, he, I made him jump in the retention pond because I did not want him in my car like that. And then he left his rings that he bought from the flea market on the tree. So when we left, he's like complaining about his rings for like 30 minutes. So I was like, okay. So I got him that. And then uh, when we got it to him for Christmas, he opened up. He, did, he was like so, he was so happy. Yeah, yeah. But then uh, my uncle's like, what'd you give him? A Mr. T starter kit? <laughs> I kid you not. He, it's he probably loved it though. No, he did love yeah, it. Yeah. He loved it. Uh, yeah. he's, he's freezing cold outside. He's got a shirt, like, you know, a Cut off. short sleeve shirt. Yeah. And then like shorts up with a, a cowboy hat on. I'm like, I got the Tiger King's cousin over here, you know what I mean? Like, it's, look, been, just like it's been pretty cold down in Florida. It's been freezing, by the way. Yeah. It's been like the lowest it was been, it was like 24 degrees, which we're not used to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're Floridians. So we're out here. It's like, supposed to be hot. We only got like one layer's worth of, of, of clothes. Yeah. For the most part. You know? So, yeah, it was pretty It's pretty cold. Yeah. But, yeah. I wanted to bring up, because we were just talking about this too. We, we talk a lot off camera, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Majority of our days off camera. Yeah. Um, I was talking about driving high is a DUI now, apparently, which yeah. I thought that was kind of crazy because I know a lot of people that drive high. Well, and we know a lot of people that are, we were, I was saying, I was yeah, saying high, functioning. high functioning high people. Like we all know yeah. that one person. We all know multiple people that are just always high and sometimes you don't even know that they're high. Yeah. You know? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Sometimes, like, well, because they put their eye drops in and they look, they look Yeah, they look normal. fine. They yeah. look fine. And they do the work like they're supposed to. And what's yeah. crazy is that these people are driving, which you know they yeah, don't, they don't I never even thought accents. about it. that's one of those things I never thought about you know like exactly. something that never because I don't even smoke like that so it's like oh I don't smoke at all actually I've never smoked yeah there you go I never smoked marijuana ever in my life thank you mom <laughs> <laughs> so imagine so imagine so look at the scenario right let's say somebody gets pulled over for something that's irrelevant to how they're driving yeah, they're driving exactly. fine they get pulled over for I don't know yeah. a headlight or something yeah and then they're driving fine yeah and then the cop smells weed in their car now you gotta get a fucking test, whatever. Yeah, so they'll swab, swab your mouth. They'll swab your mouth now. They'll swab apparently. So now, oh look, DUI. Boom, you're in jail. Yeah, which is crazy. Because, what? Yeah, exactly. It wasn't even so for the crazy. things you weren't even driving bad. It wasn't That's, originally yeah, exactly. for the thing you were getting. That's stopped what I'm by. trying to say. So like, so now this is the point too, because now you have you have you could go my you could go buy marijuana in certain stores. You know, like you can actually do that. You now. get it shipped to you. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So. Is, are they treated like alcohol now? I, I, I don't understand. Like that that's kind of a weird that's a gray area, right? That like is, that is I'm out in the smoke, so it's not really my ballpark. I really don't care what y'all do. But yeah. I don't think that you should get charged with a DUI. Yeah, because like, like so when when like uh, when you're in school, like they'll they'll put you they'll put the damn goggles on, right? The, yeah, the beer goggles. goggles. Yeah. And like you can and tell, that oh, makes sense, right? Like you exactly. can't drive on that, bro. If you're driving on that, you're Exactly. <laughs> and you can't even work. You can't work when you're like when you're that when you're, when you're drunk like that. You can't. You just can't. But a lot of people can work on weed, so why can't they drive on weed? Now oh, I think the, the main I think they the got the eye thing, goggles. <laughs> well, they need to. They, I'm, I'm saying they need to show us something no, that yeah, like, yeah. significantly yeah. impairs somebody's functions. Yeah. You know, like let's say if I were to get smoke weed, I probably wouldn't be able to function at all. Okay. But but there's somebody smokes all the time. So yeah, somebody that has a high tolerance for it. That, you know, they do it first thing in the morning, and that's that's just that's their coffee. First cup of Joe of the day, first joint of the day. Yeah. You know, it gets them started. And that's the thing is, if you're going to make it legal, then how are you going to restrict them to drive now? That, that makes zero sense. Like, it should have been like that when it wasn't legal, and yeah. then you should be reversing it now. What, like, I don't understand that. Because if you're not supposed to have it in the first place, you shouldn't be driving on it in the first place. Yeah. But now you're like, okay, you could go buy it, but yeah. now you can't drive with it. I think, I I think, think you need more, more evidence that shows if you smoke weed, there's a significant chance that you'll probably get in in a car wreck but you need evidence for that maybe later. maybe i'm not even right about it because I, I did see like a like you know how the, they say click it or ticket yeah. i swear to god i was watching youtube or something like that or tv and a commercial popped up and it's like drive high and it's a dui so i'm yeah. like and that sounds like something that they would say which too. is wild well they and, could probably say high being high because doesn't have to be weed too it could be off of no like, and it could be nyquil like percocet i know a guy actually in this area who took nyquil and they gave him a dui because he he fell in a ditch like he was Real? slumped over dude in a ditch. the first time i took a dui was a long time ago i was i was a few years ago actually I was still in college and I didn't know that NyQuil made you sleep 
Yeah, yeah. And so I was studying, and I took NyQuil because I was sick. And I remember I was telling my mom, I was like, why am I so fucking tired? I was so tired. And yeah. then I, I went upstairs, passed out. And then my mom was like, NyQuil makes you sleep, stupid. Yeah. Well, they, I didn't know that. This guy in this area, they made an example out of him because I don't know him personally. But they told us a story that uh, he drank a whole bottle of NyQuil and just decided to drive. Like, are you shitting me? He was sick, so he thought like it would help. It would help him get over it faster. Hey, get Dayquil, and he's just buddy. like, whoop. <laughs> yeah, exactly. If I Dayquil, the same fucking shit, idiot. It's literally the same <laughs> shit. All you gotta do is all, they just take the the sleeping fucking ingredient out. That is hilarious. That's wild, dude. No, a whole but, bottle of Nyquil. Dude, drink the whole thing. Is what they said. Bro, they gave him a that DI. Would probably killed me. And and they actually had to fire him from his job. Probably. I'm not surprised. You're not supposed to operate any heavy machinery. That's what it says on no. the on the bottle. Yeah. But um. Yeah, I don't know. That's crazy, man. That's crazy shit. That is, because I, I feel like a lot of people that we know could probably potentially get a DI now. Yeah. With not, they probably wouldn't think a of lot it. of people I work with. Yeah. I, like I'd say, I'd say sixty percent of the people that I work with, and that's on the low end. Yeah. Is is under the influence of something. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I, I feel like everybody has a vice to the extent. Like I, I don't yeah. know a lot of people that are yeah. just stomach cold sober. Besides, probably my mom and dad. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, like, what I, mean? I got like, caffeine. I, I, I could, well, even then, so I could even say then my mom and dad aren't because they take caffeine. Yeah. So there we go. <laughs> no, but that like yeah, that like caffeine for me significantly like increases my mood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, like I, I, yeah, like so I'll get more talkative. You know what I mean? I feel like most people are like that. It's definitely that's a, my uh, vice, but it's not like a crazy see i mean what if they said oh if you're on caffeine now you gotta do i see that'd be now that, that is would some be bad <laughs> that would be bad like a lot of people a lot of people are gonna go get no, locked up they, in that they free vacation prove, that they'd have to prove that it, it like it impairs movement that that much yeah you know what I, mean? They, I mean i feel like they would have to but i feel like now they're just throwing anything out there they may just wear masks for a freaking whole year straight you know what i mean yeah, they're just throwing right. junk out there yeah it's crazy but it, yeah, it's no. I, I don't think they would do that with caffeine. Improved. I hope they would. Yeah. It just improves performance. Like there's a bunch of studies yeah. that say it just improves performance. You know, actually, I heard that the reason why they started giving people caffeine, um, workers would, like, actually give you a coffee break. Why? Oh, because, Andrew Tate was talking about yeah, it. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. They were like, why? Well, I don't know if anything that he says is always true either. Yeah, so yeah, let yeah. me just put that out there because yeah, yeah. a lot of people, a lot of people, like, right? Actually, dude, yeah. they, they like put that on there like it's like gold. Like anything that guy says. I don't think that he's always wrong either, but I will yeah. say that he definitely just, he's a guy, like we talk too, yeah, like yeah, we say yeah. some, you know, we say some stuff that yeah, probably yeah. isn't true either, but, um, no, he was saying that they take you on a coffee break, and I didn't think of that, like that's stuff I don't think of, like, but, they, 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 oh, he thought, said that, that, he's like, why would the company give you a coffee break when they don't want to give you a break at all? He's like, because they want you to perform better at work. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that and, makes sense. And that, that's what they used to start doing, I guess. Yeah, coffee will do that to you, man. Coffee will do that to you. You know what I mean? You add yeah. you add a little bit of uh, of that flavor, and you get the white girls involved. You know, you get that pumpkin spice, everything nice. Oh, I thought you were talking about cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, no. the, I uh, hate shit. <laughs> there are fucking crazy I, people out there. I was thinking about this the other day. Imagine if uh, this is this is gonna take us into like some deeper, right? It doesn't okay. have to be, but just so ima deep. imagine if man had no desire sexually. And they never felt loneliness. Imagine how much more the world's problems would be gone. <laughs> Imagine, yeah. Well, first of all, will we even have women? <laughs> That's a thing. Will we even have kids? Well, we, yeah. Well, then we would need, we would need. But I'm just saying, just no, imagine. It would be a ta It would be a task. Yeah, you wouldn't no, want to do it. it. Would be be, like, oh god. It would be like a. It would be like a like a like a law that you have to have a kid. If you're married, you have to have a kid within the year yeah. of marriage. That'd just, probably be something. I'm just saying, just think about that idea though of just never having a sexual desire. So you wouldn't have to look at any, you I know, think, videos or nothing. You wouldn't have to even look at a woman ever again. And then also, you never had to deal with loneliness, so you didn't feel alone. So I think it would one, be crazy. It would be phenomenal for dudes because yeah, it would be. The productivity would be sky high. You, I mean, l listen. I don't know about. I'll say, speak for myself. Okay, <laughs> I've gone and you talk to girl, like a girl, and you, she fine and everything. It's and time all of a sudden, consuming. And all of a sudden, it's not only time consuming, but it just takes. You just get that lust filled cloud over your yeah, eyes yeah, and yeah, your yeah. heart, and you, it's mostly <laughs> right here and down there. Yeah, yeah. And you're just like <laughs> thinking with your dick. You know what I'm saying? You're thinking with your dick, and it's not good. Yeah. So I feel like if that was man, a yeah, race, yeah, man, you never had that productivity like, tenfold. Wow, dude. Like the world, the world. If you're cancer, dude, dude. I wouldn't be five two, dude. 
<laughs> I'd grown it. <laughs> dude. I'd grown it. Dude. And then also like loneliness is kind of like, oh, I got to settle down with somebody. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah, So it's yeah, like, yeah. now you don't even have that feeling. Yeah, so money, people like, would be, have more money because I feel like, the, look, or like yeah, you clubs would go, would go out of business. Yeah, bro. Clubs would go out of business. Bro, yeah. Because you would never have to go Because the majority of people that, that spend the money in clubs is, is dudes. Yeah. Dudes buying it for the girls. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That would, lingerie, the lingerie business would just plummet. Because <laughs> you don't need it. You don't, you Nobody's buying it. You literally wouldn't need Instagram it. Instagram would go out. It, it wouldn't be a thing anymore. It would become something completely different. Only yeah. fans? <laughs> Dude, yeah. It would be It would be strictly business oriented in the world. <laughs> Dude, only fans? Yeah, it wouldn't make a dollar. The roads would, would, would be nicer. <laughs> the roads, the roads would be nicer. Productivity, bro. <laughs> No, man. Isn't that crazy though? Just those two things. Yeah. Just those two things. You have out. less abortions. Yeah, because you wouldn't even have kids. Yeah, you wouldn't. Yeah, that dude. If sexual desire was not a thing. Ima humans, yeah, imagine if we had no wild. sexual desire ever. Like, like all that, of us. Look, imagine. Like, even cars, bro. Dude. Like cars? Like dudes wouldn't be, there wouldn't be a, like a dudes to spend yeah, you, ridiculous you don't, amounts of money. Yeah, because you don't. You're not trying to impress nobody. Yeah, yeah. Even gyms. I feel like uh, like a big group of those people are doing it to look good to look for good, like a yeah. female. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Dude, Dude. the whole world's dynamic Dude. would be just completely. I was changed. I was in my I was in my room. I'm like, imagine that. Like, just imagine. Like, the, oh, cars would be different. flying. I'd be flying. <laughs> I'd be levitating, bro. <laughs> You're describing it like a drug. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, like all this. All of a sudden, lust has just gone off this world, and we all just start levitating. We're just because the fucking weight of lust is so fucking strong. <laughs> we just fucking. That's like a, and fly. It's like a 500 pound weight holding us down our whole life. Yeah, we don't even know. Yeah, we don't even know. It's, a, it's a, that lust, dude. That squirrel. Yeah. He's, he's thinking about his sexual desires. Yeah, you're damn right. That would be wild. Yeah. That would be wild. But I, also, there probably wouldn't be as many people. I feel, well, probably wouldn't be because he wouldn't be in... But the few people in the world that would be like hyper productive, I feel like. Yeah. Well, also, you wouldn't have a... Uh, I, I feel like you'd still be competitive, so maybe that people would be Probably more competitive. Yeah, people probably be competing with each other on like finances. Like maybe they still would yeah, have the car, so. but he's just like, oh, I have the car, and it's yeah. not like, oh, I'm trying to impress her. I yeah. just have the car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'd be like a more competitive thing because imagine more, more dudes have more time to focus on the thing. Yeah, they would literally to focus. only be focusing on themselves. You know? Or, or like, I mean, I would you still? Okay, no sexual desire and no loneliness. So would you still even try to build a relationship and a family? If you have no sexual desire. Ever. No. Yeah. That's what I'm and saying. If you don't feel lonely. You don't need to go. Cause yeah. listen, like you're my bro. Like that's cool. But there's, no. like, right now, there's always that. There's always listen. Yeah. With the chick, you can always do those things that are yeah. just irrelevant things. You can just yeah. do. like go shop. I'm not gonna like, take. Yeah. Hey, you want to go to Publix with me to go shop? Yeah, I know. I know exactly what you mean. I'm not. I'm not. He's not the first person I'm calling to do that. No. <laughs> uh, yeah. And I would be like, dude, what the hell? Are yeah. You you'd be like, what? Dude? I'm like, you want me to no. go look at what at the mall? <laughs> exactly. Like that's. Or I'm not taking him to go shop like for like a new pair. You of You can't jeans take your homies to Victoria's Secret. Exactly. There you go. That I sums mean, it can, up. Right but, there. but why? Somewhere. Why would you do that? Yeah. yeah you're not homies no more. You're yeah. taking on a Victoria's Secret. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but yeah. I, that, that'd be wild, man. It's a different world. That's a, imagine all the all the all people's lives that have been ruined by relationships <laughs> in general. Dude. Dude. Imagine John F. Kennedy, the guy that they got a they got a handy under the under the thing. Marilyn Monroe. Yeah. Dude, that'd be a whole, a whole other thing. That's a whole. Well, you're story. talking about Bill Clinton who got a Bill blowing, Clinton. A blowing. <laughs> Bill Clinton he got, got a blowy. Blowy. He got Bill Clinton. <laughs> I don't know what to have sex with that woman. That's what he said. What's her name? That one the Egyptian Monica Lewinsky. Lady? Egyptian woman. Yeah, the one that's like that got from. Uh, what's her name? Monica dude? Lewinsky is the guy, the girl that he cheated with, Hillary Clinton. Yeah, but I'm talking about that one. She's like a apparently she was like a beautiful Egyptian queen. Oh, uh, Cleopatra. Yeah, Cleopatra wouldn't be a thing. Yeah. Nobody would care. <laughs> like nobody would care. Yeah, because like you're not sexually desired even, to. Even, I don't would even you think... would you still admire beauty though? But it just wouldn't be sexually. Yeah, because I guess you can admire you my art, like pretty. Yeah, things. it's pretty much what your only fans would be just art, I and mean, like nobody's gonna buy that. <laughs> I mean, yeah. like it'd be like rare for you to actually. I feel like I feel like it'd be a different world. Would we still like? What I'm saying, would we still move the way we do? Like, would no. we? Yeah, I feel like. No. It's not awful, all, isn't it? Dude. Imagine if men did not have. Because even that whole thing, the whole thing is like, imagine like, okay, we've worked at restaurants before. When a new dude or a new chick comes in there, yeah, everybody's like, it's like, <gasps> everybody, everybody got, like, you know, yeah, everybody's like, the whole dynamic changes. Yeah. The whole dynamic changes. Because then, because then, just her or his personality might switch it up the switches up switch the up whole the dynamic time, of the freaking, the freaking, 
Yeah, dude. Yeah. So that, just that, it's just, yeah, so so many things would be different. So many things would be different. That's a superpower. That'd be a superpower. It'd be wild. Yeah. It'd be incredible. Shit, I think we can cut off on there, right? Yeah. Triple Elvis, seven, seven, seven o'clock, and all boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen.